This is my TV and my TV only has optical digital audio output and this is my amplifier. My amplifier only understands analog inputs. There is no way for me to connect my TV to my amplifier using any cable. In normal situations, I'll just plug this into the back of my TV and this other end will just go into my amplifier. To solve this problem, I bought this gadget. This is a digital to analog audio converter. This device will convert the digital audio signal from my TV into an analog signal that my amplifier can understand. I bought this gadget on AliExpress for around 500 Kenya shillings. This is around 4.1 US dollars according to today's conversion rates. And now a very quick unboxing before I show you how I use it. First of all, we have an optical cable and a power cable. This is half a meter power cable. It has a USB port on one end and a barrel type plug on the other end. And finally, the user manual. I will post pictures of this user manual at the end of this video. I honestly prefer a USB type C connector over this type of barrel connector. At the very least, a micro USB cable will be much better than this cable because getting a replacement cable is going to be a challenge locally. There is nothing much to report on the optical cable. It's just a cheap one meter long optical cable. Although this packaging looks like a metallic box, it's actually made of plastic. I don't know why they wrote USB wireless on this device because there is nothing wireless about this device and the power port on this device is also not a USB port. Another name for this gadget will be an optical or coaxial to RCA converter because it has an optical and coaxial input. Toslink is the same as optical. To use coaxial, you are going to use such a cable and to use optical, you are going to use the provided optical cable. Just make sure you remove these end caps. One end is going to go into the TV and optical actually uses light to transmit the digital audio and you can see that red light over there. You will have light coming out of the other end if you inserted the optical cable correctly into the TV. The other end will go into a converter and please note that this can only go one way. You can see how it's shaped at the bottom. And make sure that it's secure. Next, we're going to connect the audio output, red with red and white with white. The other two ends will go into my amplifier. According to the manual, you require a 5 volts at 2 amperes external power supply. Although I can see that the power consumption here is 0.5 watts maximum. That means that this device uses only 0.1 amperes, which is not a lot. You can easily power this device using the USB port at the back of your TV. I can do that on my TV, but my TV only has one USB port. And if I get a USB stick behind there, I don't have any other one. So in this case, this is what I'm using as my power supply. It's my phone charger. It's rated at 5 volts at 2 amperes. The file is already playing on the TV and now it's time to plug in my converter. And you can see that we have power and the music is actually coming from my amplifier. And now for some troubleshooting. If you find that you can't see that red light at the back of your TV, then you need to set your sound out to optical. In my case, I can use either audio out optical or I can use the one at the bottom over here, internal TV plus audio out optical. So let's use that and see if we'll get a delay between the TV speakers and the audio out from my amplifier via conversion over here. This is the speaker that I'm using. <laughs> As you can tell, we have barely any delay between the sound that comes from my TV to the sound that comes from my speakers via the digital to analog audio converter. So this is a great product. I recommend this product. So what happens when you plug in two inputs, the optical as well as the coaxial? So according to the manual, the product will give priority to the optical input. I've actually tried that and it's true. This is a product that I recommend. Post any questions or comments that you may have in the comments below. That's it. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in the next video and goodbye.
Also, the reason you can hear a lot more bass from my TV is because my TV has very good sound and I've not connected any subwoofer to my amplifier over here. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,